this. What is our second main topic today? This one comes from Aiden. Hi, John. Okay, I know this one has been taken with a giant grain of salt and everything, but did you hear the latest rumors going around that the Madam Web plot is basically the plot of Terminator? <laughs> Essentially, a group of Spider Universe heroes team together to protect a young Mary Parker from a bad guy who wants to kill her so Spider-Man will never be born. If true, what do you think of that as a storyline? Thanks and bring on the filthy. Okay, listen. I, you know, around here on this show, we very, very rarely will talk about the rumors going around stuff like that because 99% of the time they turn out to be BS. But we have talked a little bit about, because we ourselves have heard some whispers. There was some word going around that, um, uh, why am I forgetting uh, the severance guy? Adam Scott. Adam Scott, Scott. thank you. Um, there was some word going around that Adam Scott may be playing a young Ben Parker and stuff like that. And and that um, Eric Roberts's niece, Emma Roberts, was going to be playing like a young Aunt May or whatever. But that was slightly, I th this new rumor suggests that that rumor was slightly inaccurate. And the only reason I bring it up here is because you do have to take it with a giant grain of salt. But it does coincide with some of the whispers I have personally heard before. And so because this rumor kind of lines up in some ways with what I had heard before, and because I think it's at least very, very interesting, I thought it'd be interesting to bring up. So guys, here's the basic gist of it. The idea is this, is that Adam Scott is not playing Ben Parker, but rather Richard Parker. And that Emma Roberts is not playing a young Aunt May, but rather Mary, who is, of course, and Richard and Mary Parker, of course, like uh, a young Spider-Man's parents, right? So... The idea is this, we have heard with a lot of the casting, that some of the casting rumors suggested one of the actresses is playing Spider-Woman, one is playing Spider-Girl, I believe. There's a, several iterations of Madam Web and even a few other characters being rumored. Everybody basically in the Spider-Man universe other than Spider-Gwen or, you know, Peter Parker himself. So, and remember we looked at the one production shot image where we saw Adam Scott and Dakota Johnson, Dakota Johnson. Thank you together. And they were paramedics in front of an older overturned car. And we thought, okay, so is that just an old car or is that a bit of a period piece? Well, maybe it's a bit of a period piece because the whispers going around are this is that there is a villain who we don't know who it is yet that literally, and if this sounds like Terminator, you're not wrong, goes back in time and decides they've had enough of trying to beat Peter Parker, Spider-Man. It just never works. So they're going to go back in time and they're going to kill Mary Parker to prevent Spider-Man from ever being born. A gaggle of heroes gathers together to go back to stop them so that their buddy, Peter Parker, can someday in the future be born and whatever. Still no Peter in it from what we understand, but maybe Andrew Garfield shows up, I don't know. Hmm. So I got to say, while that is... On its surface, if you look at it just in very plain point form, does that just look like a Terminator kind of ripoff? Yeah. But I would be okay with that. Because this idea for a story in a Sony Spider universe that doesn't have Spider-Man to yet directly connect, and I'll tell you what else, it would answer the question of for why, about why on earth <laughs> even do, like we've all been asking the question. Like I, I've got faith in, in Sony, they've, they've done some good things, they've done some not good, so good things, but I, I believe in them, so whatever, I'm interested, but we've always been asking the question, why Madam Web? Like I believe the grand total is zero of people in the world who've been asking for a Madam Web movie. <laughs> So why Madam Web? If, and this is a giant if, and we make no representation that this is actually happening, but if this were real, it answers that question because she becomes the linchpin kind of character in a storyline like that, that you could do that. And so I got to tell you, as Terminator-ish ripoff as it sounds, I'd be lying to you if I didn't tell you that this kind of interests me. And I think this could make for a pretty fun movie. So I don't know, Rob, you hear about this. Let's start with this. The basic even feasibility of it, do you think there's any chance this could be real? And regardless of whether you think it's real or not, do you think there's some potential in a story like this? Well, I think it's crazy. I mean, I, I didn't even know they were making a Madam Web movie until this morning. <laughs> no, but, but in all honesty, I'm with you. 
you know, the, the idea of time travel, you always come across the grandfather paradox. If you went and killed your grandfather, would you, would you exist? And if, right. how does that work? So it's not necessarily the Terminator plays into the grandfather paradox. So I don't think it's a ripoff of the Terminator as much as it is an examination of the idea of the grandfather paradox, which has been used in many different times. Well, they just stories. recently Umbrella had, Academy, Umbrella most Academy recently. Uh, season, uh, right? Absolutely. Done. So I'm cool with that. This actually interests me. And w wouldn't it be interesting if in the beginning of the film, I could see Spider-Man, he doesn't exist, you know, and, and so, or they have Spider-Man and he winks out of existence or something. Or Madam Web just kind of appears to a bunch of heroes saying there was a hero. Yeah. Who would have prevented like, all this. I'm in, something. I'm in. Now that I've come to grips with the fact Morbius. that this. would have prevented Morbius. They yeah, would have I mean, prevented <laughs> Morbius if only Spider-Man had existed. But I, I, I'm a fan of this idea. And when I, when I heard about this, I, I mean, it, it's interesting. It makes sense. It's a cool sci-fi story. You bring in all these other heroes. It's a team-up story to achieve a goal. I mean, this is classic comic book storytelling. The, the big I'm question, in. though, let me, let me ask this. The big question, because we've been talking about this for a long time, the whole for why. Like, right. why a Madam Web? Would you have that same kind of ping in your head that I did when I went, you know what, if this was the story, suddenly this makes sense. Does does it do that yes. for you? Yes, um, I'm with you 100%. Uh, absolutely. And, and not only that, this actually makes me look forward to the movie. I want to see it now. Because I was like, uh, like we kept saying, for why? Yeah. I, I had no interest. I couldn't even remember this movie. Every time somebody brought it up, I'm like, they are? And uh, making a Madam Web movie, but this makes sense, and I'm actually now excited. If that's if and we don't know this, if yeah. it's yeah, true. Well, giant grain of salt. Yeah. We we yeah. don't know that this is true hey, whatsoever. Well, can I ask why um, they have to kill the mom? They could just kill that spider. I mean, well, they <laughs> might not know. From a spider. But no, no, it's harder villain, to find a spider than a baby, audience, Ray. We as oh. the audience know that he Spider-Man got his power from being bit by a radioactive oh. spider. But the villains probably don't know that. Yeah, that's true. Oh. And I mean, there's a lot of spiders. But why in the world, not Ray? just kill the spider? I like that. Yeah, I mean, are they that because evil? They just want to kill the mom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we could kill the spider. <laughs> Or, or, I know, Chris, you hear about this. What do you think? This does make more sense to me because Madam Webb can, you know, she is beyond dimension. She can do planetary travel. She can uh, shapeshift in some dimensions to like the Beyonder. So this all makes sense as far as a narrative for it goes. I also think it's really interesting to explore Spider-Man's parents because we constantly talk about Ben and May, right? And Richard, like, there have been a couple iterations, right? In 1610, he is a geneticist. In the 616, we have the spy uh, theory mm -hmm. with all of them, where uh, Mary and Richard are spies who infiltrate a Algerian, uh, like, syndicate of some sort, and that's why they got got. So I think it's really fun to play with his actual parents and see what you can do there, because that's a sandbox we really haven't played in. We constantly revisit the Ben issue, the May issue. With great power comes great responsibility, and I think looking at his actual parents is really cool. Now, I, again, I know I've thrown this disclaimer in here four times already, but it's got to be it's said all again. Hearsay. This is all like <laughs> rumor and speculation. I, I simply bring it up because it does line up with a couple of things I had heard before, but Again, we have no idea. It could be something else entirely. But again, the rumor itself does also kind of tie in a bit with that image that we saw with the older car. But listen, there could be a million other things. We're simply saying if this particular um, setup was what this movie was going to be, it's kind of interesting. So yeah. I don't know. It's but webbing time. It's, <laughs> it's webbing time, damn it. Set of morbid time. Question is for you guys. Yes, <laughs> what do you think about it? Do you think this rumor could be true? But regardless of if you think it's true or not, what do you think about the whole context of it? Do you like the idea of a story like that? Maybe the actual movie will have elements of that and then be kind of different in other ways. Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comment section below and leave those thoughts there. Hey guys, we want to take a second and thank the sponsor of this episode, Babbel. Now, as an Italian, did you guys know my real name is Giovanni? Anyway, as an Italian that doesn't actually speak a lot of Italian, I've always wanted to learn better Italian so I could converse with my Italian relatives. And that's where Babbel is a godsend. And for you guys, for all your summer travels or whether you're going abroad or staying domestic and want to immerse yourself in the culture, now is the perfect time to start Babbel. Babbel is the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions. Thanks to Babbel's addictively fun and easy bite-sized language lessons, there's still 
ample time to learn a new language before you reach your destination. With Babbel, you only need 10 minutes to complete a lesson, so you can start having real-life conversations in a new language in as little as three weeks. Now, other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 150 language experts. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German and others. Right now, you can save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash campia. That's babbel.com slash campia for up to 60% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. 